In this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can make your role plays better in Emergency Response Liberty County. As always, if you do enjoy this video, please do make sure you drop a like and also subscribe. Check out everything else from the description as well, but let's get straight into it. Okay, so obviously ERLC is a role play game, as you all know, and every update, they usually try and focus on adding things that will actually help you with your role plays. For example, the most recent update we got was the drones at the time of recording this video and obviously the drones don't have any use except from simply just being good for role plays but I've got a few things that you can do to help implement and help make your role plays better by using every feature possible of the game and being creative as well about using your tools and things like that and what you can actually create in ERC. So I've just kind of said the first one use tools on the teams wisely so this can be on the police team DOT team but also on teams like the news team for example if I I run inside here and then if I come on and join the job I have not done this job in a long long time but if we come over to our inventory you can see we have like a camera now so you can actually use this for role play I never really see people doing these role plays but in a private server for example where there's like a big scene going on you can be like a news reporter and you and your friend maybe one can have the microphone and you can have the camera or something or the other way around it doesn't really matter you can go up to these scenes and not break into them and fail role play but stand back use the camera and do like a live feed from them that would be really really cool of course and i don't see many people using these cameras anymore but it's not just this if i join onto the police team there are so many uh features that you can use on here as well to make your role plays better for example the drone i spoke about uh just a moment ago the drone obviously this is a new feature to the game but it is really really cool and i'm sure as you all know as you all have used it it definitely has its fair share of glitches as i think most people have kind of like discovered recently recently but it is still really cool nevertheless and you can use it for a lot of nice role plays of course but i think the best feature on the police team for helping with role plays is actually just something that no one uses and it's this the crowd fence so people don't really use this and of course it's not really a, a police kind of tool and they do have it on uh, the dot team as well but these are really really good for role plays you can create pretty much any role play with these you can create a football match if you wanted really you could like make out like a football field on a bit of grass or something or you could do like a little festival you you can use the tow trucks as like a little stage or something and then corner off like the whole area with these fences and that'll be really really cool and you, you can be really really creative with what you create but yes the biggest point i'm getting ahead is just use the features on the teams because they will help you so much and the next thing to talk about is similar to role play jobs but actually use the role play jobs themselves so you can you use the role play jobs to help make your role play longer i kind of got two points there which i've just kind of put into each other which is you Use roleplay jobs and make your roleplays longer by using the roleplay jobs. What I mean by this is, for example, you can use any roleplay job for anything. But I guess kind of the main one that I have written down here is that if you're doing like a big scene, for example, and someone gets taken to hospital, a lot of the time what people do is they bring the ambulance over to the hospital, of course. They bring it around here. They park it up. Sometimes they just end it here. If not, they'll walk in over to this bed usually, put the person on this bed, and then they'll end it here. And this will be the end of the roleplay. But you can make this longer and you can use these roleplay jobs it literally says hospital job right here you can come over here and you can become a nurse or a doctor and you can actually help and take care of this patient even more and do it like even longer and make it more realistic and then you can take them over to the different rooms on the stretcher maybe you can put them in here if they need operating you can bring them to the stairs and i don't know where the operating room is in this hospital i can't i think it's up here you bring it up and yeah you can take them to surgery and you can put them in the surgery surgery rooms if you really want and do some kind of surgery or you can take them to just the generic patient rooms and there is so much you can do uh for for all these different uh role play jobs and you can really make them worth it this job is really really cool you have loads and loads of really really nice like tools and stuff that you can actually do that they would have spent a long long time incorporating and no one really uses any of these jobs so yes they do help with your role plays definitely and they also make it a whole lot more realistic which of course is 
what everybody wants makes it much more exciting. And the next one I would actually say is the most important out of them all and it's make sure you're doing it with the right people. Now it depends if you're doing it for like a video maybe if you're if you're watching this to make your role plays for your YouTube videos better. I don't know but this one will definitely help and it's make sure you use the right people like I said. So, so what I mean by this is if you are doing it as a YouTube video and for example you're doing it in a British roleplay server, try and make sure you're using British people. Try and make sure they have a British accent of some kind because I know as a British person if I watch a British roleplay and everyone there speaks American or is Australian or something, there's nothing wrong with it of course and it will still make a great video if the roleplay is good but it does sound a little bit weird and if you want the perfect roleplays for your video then of course you should make sure that they speak you know and have the same accent and whatever. But I guess the main point off to this one is that even if you're not doing it for a video and you're just doing it for your private server maybe for example, you should still have people that are the right people. For example, if you're doing a medical role play, try and get people that play medical role plays a lot and have experience in medical. I think medical and EMS and paramedic type things in role play in GTA 5 or Roblox or any game, any private server is always the most difficult one because there's so much you have to know and there's so many different like procedures and stuff that you have to do and if you do want the best role play then it's best to do them realistically and even if you decide you don't want to be that realistic you might have a person in that server that does want to do it realistic but then if there's another person that's been told yeah you don't have to do it that realistic don't worry then there will Will clash and there will be a bit of confusion between them two people which will just make your life a bit more harder as a server owner or whatever or directing the roleplay whatever you're doing so yes just make sure you have good people that either speak the same kind of language accent whatever again that's not really a big deal if you're doing a video though that will help a little bit but the most important one but the most important one of them is to make sure that they are experienced in what they're actually doing and then the final one is really really quick is do things realistically the drive realistic cars don't go driving around in McLaren and Bugattis all the time. Most private servers and videos and whatever always like kind of moderate this anyway so you don't have to worry about it too much but if you're in like your own private server or something don't let everyone just drive around in Bugattis or McLarens or whatever there is like that because it is unrealistic. You don't really see them very much in real life. And of course if you want nice role play follow the road signs. I know I'm not doing it right now with a speed limit of 45 when I was doing 105 down that road but you get the idea. Follow the road signs, stop at red lights, all that kind of thing and you're play will become a little bit better but that is all for this video i really really hope it did help some of you out if it did then make sure you do drop a like and also subscribe and hopefully i will see you in the next video bye